gentlemen. guys okay so today is december 2nd 2023 today's gonna be an interesting one um because uh well the company recently had a decent performance for black friday cyber monday um and so i kind of plan with some of my friends um that don't work at the company we're gonna go up to niagara today and we're actually gonna have some food we're gonna have some drinks we're gonna go to the casino and just gonna relax a little bit. So I thought I'd show you a little bit what it looks like. Um, you know, when I kind of take a bit of a day off, um, it doesn't happen too often to be completely honest with you, but the days that I do have off, I love them. So current time is about 6.30 a.m. It's not as early as it normally is. I slept in a little bit, um, had a later night, watched a movie with, uh, with a friend. Um, so yeah, it was a good time. We're gonna drive up to the casino, have a good time in Niagara. Um, I'm actually gonna start by heading down to the office and doing a little bit of work, trying to study a little bit of Japanese, uh, have a workout. So I'll show you what all that looks like. Um, but yeah, guys, stay good and have a good time. Guys, just before I head out and leave here, I wanted to show you guys something I'm really excited for. So, currently I'm vlogging on an older camera, but you guys really like the last kind of vlog I did, so I want to show you guys what I actually record my main videos with, this bad boy. And so, this is going to be making appearances in my vlogs in that that's actually the camera I'm going to start using, because you guys seem to really enjoy these. So, coming up pretty soon, I'll be using a better camera, give you guys a little more definition. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to share that with you guys. Alright, let's head out. Alright, so things were going fine, but it looks like we're stuck in some sort of morning traffic and hit like a dead lock where we're not moving. So that's always fun. Uh, currently 7-11 a.m. Not moving on the highway here, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess this is a little bit of a bump in the road, no pun intended, but um, yeah, we'll get there soon, we'll get to work. Okay guys, I filled up the water bottle, got my water ready. I'm gonna do a session and probably work for about two hours and do an hour of some Japanese studying. Time is currently, as you can see, 7.39 a.m. We got stuck in a bit of traffic earlier. Kind of annoying, there's something happening on the highway, um, but no big deal. I think the plan later is I'm gonna leave with my buddy to drive down to Niagara. It's about a two hour drive. I'm gonna leave with my buddy from uh, my apartment at about probably 2, 2.30 p.m. So really my plan now is, like I said, do some work, do a bit of study, from there, we're gonna work out, maybe do some meditation. And then I'm going to, yeah, I'll show you guys my workout, show you guys some what I'm doing. I'll probably do like something light, like arms or something today, just keep it quick. And then, yeah, we're gonna head back, go to Niagara, uh, have dinner, have some drinks, um, and then go to the casino and have some fun. I'm not a huge gambler, but it can be fun, obviously, when you win. Um, I don't do it too often. I've only done it three, four times in my life, and I only really play roulette. So maybe we'll try something new. We'll see. If we have a couple of drinks, we're feeling good. We'll see what we, what we do. I'll uh, check in with you guys pretty soon. All right, just got done a few hours of work here. Now I'm about to start a little meditation session before I go and work out in the gym. Um, so the time currently is, what is it, 11? 50, is that right? No, 11.02, I read the clock backwards. So 11.02, um, got a couple hours of work, like I said. Got about an hour of Japanese studying, that was awesome. Uh, now I'm just gonna sit down here and get ready to do some meditation. Probably do about 20 minutes. Normally I go between 20 and 30 minutes uh, for a session. I'll do one, maybe two sessions in a day. So I normally just come into a room, put on some bright lights and kind of sit down and get to it. I like to, um, just make sure that the lights are really kind of keeping me awake so I don't fall asleep during my meditation session and I make sure that I get the most out of my sessions. So, yeah. Okay, meditation done. On the way down to go hit the gym now. Also, I don't know if any of you guys have noticed, but a bit of a throwback. I don't know if anyone recognizes this hoodie, but this is a throwback to Matt Ogus and Chris Lovato from about 
12, 13 years ago, the legends of aesthetics. They were a couple of guys on YouTube. I'm sure some of you guys know Matt Ogus that I really looked up to and uh, really respected. So I still have their hoodie. So if you guys are ever watching this, I'm here, end of 2023, I'm still rocking your stuff. Yeah, guys, let's get this workout. I got problems, so problems, so problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. All right, guys, so we're going to start with some decline skull crushers. I've been into these lately. Um, you just saw me do a couple warm up sets. I just like to get my joints uh, kind of warm before I start. Definitely with uh, triceps. Um, so I'm gonna start here, do a few sets of some decline skull crushers, like I said, and then we'll uh, keep moving on with the I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Cause I got problems on problems on problems, I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. So guys, something else that um, I didn't mention is I like to superset. Um, where I'll do like 10 to 12, 10 to 4, 15 reps um, of the skull crushers decline. Um, and then I'll go straight on to kind of a close grip um, press sort of right after bang out a couple more reps. So that's what you're seeing me do. Okay, now I'm gonna jump into some skull crushers just with a kind of a hammer grip, uh, dumbbells. I'm gonna do that because I like to isolate at some point my triceps, make sure one's not going too much harder than the other because I have had imbalances in the past. So I recommend at least having one uh, isometric um, sort of isometric type sort of uh, exercise in your arm workout especially if you feel any imbalances so that's what i'm doing next okay skull crushers out of the way i'm now going to jump over to a close grip bench press get the short head of the tricep activated here. I also just wanna give you guys a quick tip for when you're doing skull crushers. This is something that I found out maybe a couple years ago. I don't know why it works, but if you guys are finding you have uh, elbow pain as you're doing it, try elevating your chest, keep your chest up, just kinda like when you're doing a bench press. Keep it up as you're doing your extensions and you'll find that your shoulders and your elbows start to kind of hurt a little bit less. So I've been doing that, it helps a lot and uh, it's definitely helped me from like, it's making sure that I don't injure myself along the way. I don't know how exactly it works, but it's been great. So try keeping your chest up. Another tip with the close grip bench press is I like to lock out at the top. I find it really helps me get that kind of contraction on my triceps at the top. So again, with a close grip bench, try and get that lockout. You'll really feel, really feel that tricep contract. All right, hoodies come off. Guys, I'm gonna do one final set for my triceps before I move over to buys. Um, this is just kind of a burnout set. I kind of just pick a random exercise I wanna do. What I'm doing right now, this last set is going to be uh, a rope kind of pull down. Um, I'm gonna do a kind of a drop set. I'll probably do two or three drops and just kind of really burn out the triceps. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. Final set for triceps. Triceps done, I'm gonna do a quick warm up set for biceps and then we'll uh, get on with that. So like I mentioned in my other vlogs, um, whenever I switch to a new muscle, I like to do just one or two warm up sets. It helps me feel the contraction a little bit better. Um, so I'm gonna do a couple sets here with a kind of like very little weight before I um, put on a little bit to actually start my working sets with. All right, for this next one, uh, I basically set the cables really low, and then I just basically do some curls with my arms at a bit of a disadvantage, as you're gonna see. Um, again, I just try and get full range of motion, really get the stretch at the bottom. Um, I've had a lot of problems with my arm growth, so I really have been trying a whole bunch of different stuff, but this is what's been working for me lately, so I'll give this one a shot if you like it. But yeah, so basically set the cables really low, and I do curls at a bit of a disadvantage, as you're about to see. Can't for my wings, I need my hands. This life is real, if they pretend, came off the fence, I get it in. Next up, we're gonna do some hammer curls again at a bit of a disadvantage. Sometimes I do them standing, uh, leaning against the wall. Sometimes I do them seated. I think today I'll probably do standing. You know what? I'm thinking I'm gonna do one set seated, so let's do it. 
Okay, so biceps almost done. One last burnout set, just kind of like I did with triceps. I'm gonna do a cross the body kind of hammer curl. Uh, I guess a little bit of my forearms in there. Just kind of a last little burnout again. I'll remind you guys, I basically do whatever the hell I want to do when I come to the gym. I don't really have a super set thing that I do. I kind of just enjoy doing whatever. So uh, I'm gonna end off with this. Um, and if you have any questions about anything, let me know in the comments. Last burnout set. Okay, guys, that is the workout done. Thank God. I don't know. It took, it took a lot out of me today, actually, even though it's just arms. Um, now I'm going to have some food. Probably just be some egg whites, something pretty low calorie, decent for the macros, get some good, get some good protein. Uh, reason being is tonight we're going to Copacabana Steakhouse in uh, Niagara. So kind of all you can eat Brazilian steak. Uh, I'll be having that, showing you guys what I'm eating later. Um, but yeah, now really it's just I got a couple calls. Um, something really exciting is actually coming out. Might have already been out by the time of this video. Um, I'm releasing a productivity guide for you guys. So I have a couple calls to just finalize that. Um, I'm gonna eat, get in my car, drive home, get ready, then drive up to Niagara. I'll keep you guys posted and we'll talk more in a bit. All right, finally leaving the office. It is, what time we got here? About two o'clock, just before two. Gonna head home, take a quick shower, and get ready to drive up to Niagara. Can't wait. The drive up to Niagara is like one and a half, two hours from where I live, so I gotta fuel up on some gas. So I don't gotta do that on the highway on the way there. I've had that mistake before. Didn't turn out too well. Uh, luckily, I had just enough gas to get home, but yeah, filling up real quick. Then uh, on the way home, getting changed, heading up. All right, just got back, getting changed, I'm getting ready to go. All right, just got to the Airbnb, a couple rooms, here's where I'm staying in this room. Friends are downstairs, what it look like is what the washroom looks like, but we the light. Sweet, gonna be a fun night. We're gonna go ahead to dinner, have a good time. All right, Copacabana for some steak. Beauty, thank you. That's really good. I was waiting for this. Mm -hmm. nice. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Do it. <laughs> Vodka soda, picanha, this is so good. Look up, this is a special cut that they have in Brazil. Amazing. Just a plate of steak. Oh. Okay. All done dinner, now we're gonna go try and find a bar somewhere. Have a couple drinks before we go to the casino. Hopefully you can hear me. Well, Niagara Falls is down there somewhere. You can see all the mist coming off of it. Shall we? Okay, so we're doing this thing where we're basically doing a bar hop. So we're in we're in um, Niagara, and basically what we're doing is we're going to like five or six different bars. We're doing a bar hop, getting a drink at each bar before we go to the casino. Uh, hopefully, we get lucky tonight. So I'll keep you guys posted, and I'll show you if we win anyway. Cheers, 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 ladies, cheers. Once again. And again. Once again under the bridge. There it is. 
bitches. Oh. Oh, damn. Refreshing. Okay, it's finally time. Heading into the casino. Let's hope we actually win something. Let's see how it goes. I think we're gonna play some roulette. Um, my boys are really into blackjack, so we'll see what happens. I've never actually played blackjack before, but roulette, bit of a game of luck. We'll see what happens. See if I get lucky. Well, put down a few hundred dollars, lost it all, the way it goes. Okay guys, uh, time is currently, you see that, 2.12 in the morning. Um, today was a fun day, honestly got a lot of stuff done earlier in the day. Uh, then we came back to Niagara, it was a good time. Steak was amazing, really, really good. Copacabana, if you're ever in Niagara, go to Copacabana, it's really, really good. Had a fun time. Uh, we went to the casino, unfortunately, uh, lost a bunch of money, <laughs> didn't win anything. I don't really have very good luck when I gamble. Not a huge gambler, but uh, yeah. Then went out to a bunch of different places as you could see for drinks. We kind of did a bit of a bar hop here in Niagara where my friends and I, we went to a whole bunch of different places like TGI Fridays, um, Outback Steakhouse, like all this different stuff. Uh, just for drinks, just for cheap drinks. We did a bit of a bar hop, like I mentioned. After that, we went to the casino, then went back to another bar and just had a good time. Just had, you know, caught up, had some discussion. Just had a really nice time. So yeah, guys, that was basically my day today. It was a bit more eventful. I don't normally have days like this, honestly, but today I kind of just decided I would have a bit of a day off. And I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like, um, you know, when I'm not just grinding the whole day. Like I talk about in some of my videos, modes versus moderation. Um, the idea that like, I don't believe in being moderate in the sense that every single day, you know, you kind of have a bit of time for relaxing, the time for grinding. I kind of believe that you have um, an on switch and an off switch. And when you're on, you're in a kind of grind mode. And when you're off, you have a bit of a party mode, relax mode. And today was kind of just a bit of a more relaxed mode. So I wanted to share this with you to show you um, that you can do this too. You know, you can be on your grind most days of the week. And every once in a while, you take some time to just kind of do you and relax, see your friends and whatever. Um, so yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Um, Again, really fun day. I'll be doing more of these. Let me know in the comments if you guys enjoyed this stuff. Just give me a comment down below. I love talking with you guys. Again, thanks so much for watching. My name is Spencer with Must Become. Always remember that your potential is your obligation. And so what you can become, you must become.